Good, huh? That little one, that one that doesn't have them on. Yeah. They hear it, it was bleeding right yeah. here. Yeah. I smoked her ass right there, boy. Would you want it nice and tight? Yeah. I'm yeah. sitting there videotaping. Like it it knew we were here. It was about 12 or 15 I yards. Think if it wouldn't have been for that one coming. Um, I buried it right in the front shoulders. I think if that one would come here, that one would have. She piled up right there. I see her going over there. Yeah, she uh, she had to be there four or five minutes. And I watched that Grim Reaper bury yeah. right down through them front shoulders. Did you see the other two that were back here? And uh, she stood there kept looking out in that field. Mm -hmm. For the longest time she was looking there. And uh, I knew it was a dead deer. I knew just by, by what was happening she was going to get it. But she was quartering towards me just a little bit. She was quartering towards me just a little bit there. And uh, I wanted to let her turn a little bit more. And I figured once she once she turned just a little bit, I was gonna go ahead and take the shot. And, uh, that was an awesome shot. Did you see the fletching? Yeah. Did you see him sticking out of her? So I don't think she went 50 yards right there. So, good go, buddy. We just got down. We waited about 15 minutes here. We know the deer fell down. We heard it crash. But I just wanted to take a second. Thank Bob Schultz off of Matthews. Matthews Forum there. He uh, just this spring we started shooting a Grim Reaper, and that's a whitetail special with a two-inch cutting head. And I'll tell you what, I um, I was never one for expandable heads, but with this tip and the way these heads are made. It's just unbelievable. I've never seen holes put in animals like this before. And uh, I shot the deer right here where this orange ribbon is. And six feet away. Can you see that, Keith? 
Yep. There's blood over here. I mean, we've got blood already. On the spot. I'll make sure I send this to Matt from Grim Reaper. Send him a nice video for him to check out. Follow his blood here. And then off this direction. The last blood right here. I heard a crash right here in this. I heard a crash right here in this pile of stuff somewhere. There she is laying right here, right there in a pile of logs. She went 40 yards. Yeah, don't walk in front. You got it. Grim Reaper, buddy. Watch him drop. Let me move my bow here. I'll get her turned around. I knew it exited off the gut there the way she was quartering towards me. Look how it sliced yeah. her leg around you. Can you see the broadhead? Look at that. And then don't move it. I'll sharpen that up and use that one again. Yep. Guaranteed. I put it in the quiver here. See that entrance hole? That's what happens when you shoot them quartering towards you a little bit. Back up a little bit so you can get us. I can see the uh, entrance. Pour out of here. Look at that hole, buddy. That's a hell of a hole. Boy, that girl got a pretty face on her, huh? Can't get much sexier than that. <laughs> And over that way, bud. Well, it's my first year for 2013. Like I said, we switched over to the Grim Reapers this year, and I'll tell you what, this is the between me and you. It's the third animal we've shot with them, and every one that we've shot so far, all three animals, a turkey and two deer have all fell within sight and uh, I can't say we've had that same luck with all the other broadheads but look at the dark face on her how pretty she is huh mm -hmm. hey Bob kill them all buddy let's get a tag on her and get her out in the open and get some photographs hey, he's, uh, Thursday October 10th uh, night before last my dad got a got a bill here at the food plot and First morning I got a deal also. The first morning it was too too dark out we couldn't get it on video. But uh they've been coming here every night on a regular basis, about right before dark, huh? And uh they come into the food plot here every night about six six o'clock probably. So hopefully we get a shot.
Is that a button bucker? I'm not sure if it was a button bucker. No. Well, it's about the same thing, about 10 yards, huh? Yeah. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. That's another one that fell within eyesight. Wow. Let's get down and we'll see if we can get him before it gets dark. Did it again, huh, bud? <laughs> I don't think it went too far. No, it fell right there, I'm pretty sure. I think it went about 50 yards. That little, that little one that we were talking about, it was, it was right there, uh -huh. right behind it. So what was the story there? That deer come in quick, wasn't it? Yeah. And they come in, and they took forever for it to turn broadside, and then finally come over and turn broadside. Like I might have hit a little bit farther back. Looks like you got a dead center of the ribs. We're going to give it a few yeah. minutes and then we'll try to recover it before dark. But we're not going to... I don't think we'll be able to blood crawl it. Yeah. I might have, might have been like a liver shot, maybe. Okay, we'll give it a few minutes. Well, we had to come back the next morning and uh, look for the steer. I hit it a little bit farther back. And uh, I want to thank my dad and Wildy for coming out this morning and trying to uh, find it for me. Uh, it only went about 75 yards from where I shot it.